for our, our community. Um, Steve was the chair of our mitigation committee. Very active. Um, always had a smile. Always had an encouraging word. Um, I worked with Steve for um, a long time because um, I worked hand in hand with him on one of these mitigation uh, standards as chair. Uh, Steve was an instrumental part of the Northwest uh, Radon Coalition, uh, which is one of the most active groups that we have. Uh, they're pursuing uh, lots of efforts up here, including um, policy efforts and, and regulations here in Oregon, uh, Washington State, um, and uh, just a super all-around good guy. Uh, a couple months ago, uh, Steve had a stroke, <clears throat> and he uh, had resigned as uh, chair of the mitigation committee, and then uh, several weekends ago, uh, several of us had not, um, not good news, and that was Steve. Steve had a series of uh, follow-up strokes uh, that he was ultimately uh, not able to overcome. Uh, so, uh, Steve, Steve didn't get to see us here. Um, but he's here, and I'd like to take just a moment um, and uh, recognize Steve. Uh, Annie, <coughs> his wife, uh, was, was not able to be here. Um, his, ch his children, uh, Alicia and Laura, uh, but uh, Steve's business partner at Cascade Radon, uh, Annie, um, asked if, if we could um, acknowledge uh, Steve for this award. Uh, by, um, uh, by awarding it to, to uh, his longtime employee, now the owner of, of Cascade Radon. So Wade, uh, Wade, could you come up? So the um, final president's award for uh, 2022 is awarded to, to Steve Tucker. 